So that elemental life form came all the way here on its own and spent a long time by itself? Wouldn't it already have become the withering like the others? There is a chance that it could avoid that end using the power of something here. I'm referring to what was used to fight against the Abyss. It once repaired the rifts of Tavat long ago. It has the ability to purify and stabilize powers that shouldn't exist in Tavat. Forbidden knowledge that its light has shone upon is kept here forever in a different form. Yep. It's just like soap bubbles that rise to the water surface. <sighs> Another strange metaphor. But Paimon somehow gets this one. What the Lord of Dendro means is that the apocalypse was altered by the power of the giant spike and hidden within the oozing filth. Yes, and it shouldn't be far from here. Let's go and take a look. from the prophecy. That light! <sighs> Wait! Something dark is coming out! Something's not right! What's going on? Didn't Nahida say it was purified? Maybe it's because such a long amount of time has passed. Although the power of the oozing filth is more stable than that of the apocalypse, it is still a form of dangerous power. It might have lost its mind after being soaked in it for such a long time. Oh no! But we still have tons of questions we need to ask! I should be able to purge it with my elemental power. But this is our only chance! Traveler! It's okay. I trust your judgment. I was being a little hasty myself. Let's see if we can think of another way. Oh, yeah! You said that the elemental power in the crystal was identical to theirs! You want to use its power, but... The Lord of Dendro seems hesitant. I, too, would advise caution. It's risky to use its power without fully understanding its intended use. Don't understand! This no good, that no good, save life, important! Yes, I understand, but this is our only chance to return home. We cannot afford to be careless. It's okay, there's no need to argue. I'll think of something to do about the elemental power that will be used. Hmm... How about this? Traveler, you could try using it. 
I understand that you have an amazing resistance to forbidden knowledge. Don't overdo it, Traveler. Paimon will be worried. of my memory is highly unreliable at the moment. I can't seem to remember who you are. Hmm, that sounds about right. After all, the purpose of my existence is precisely for those unreliable memories you speak of. You once said that the apocalypse will be completely eradicated, and that relevant memories will become unstable. Even you couldn't promise that you'd remember our agreement after those events take place. However, you are definitely someone who stays true to your word. My sacrifice is nothing compared to your resolve. You and I made the agreement? Yes. You used your power to protect me. That is the reason why I was able to survive here. To be honest, I'm nearing my end. I had thought I'd be stronger than this. No one can withstand the power of the Apocalypse. In order to preserve a somewhat stable memory, I had to change the power of the Apocalypse into a different form. Only the giant spike that fell from the sky was capable of doing something like that. But the moment I chose to go through with it, is the moment I lost my chance of being rescued by the Lord of Dendro. But enough about me. Lord of Dendro, let's get to the important matter at hand. As you can see, I won't last much longer. I understand, and I'm sorry, but... Can you please tell me what this is? This is a fire seed. It's an essential item for saving the Dendro Dragon. Thankfully, it appears to be in good condition. The Lord of Dendro and our people created this item together. It mimics how the Dendro Dragon's Heart of Oasis operates. The Dendro Dragon has been tormented by the Apocalypse for far too long. It too is nearing the end of its power. However, if you are able to reactivate its heart of oasis using the fire seed, then the Dendro Dragon will begin to recover. And as a result, our homeland will return to the way it once was. Oh, so the heart of oasis is a pep source of power. No wonder the crystal was able to heal this fungus just now. That's what it's used for. What? You used the fire seed to save me? Mm hmm Why? What's wrong? That's... Uh, never mind. It's not your fault. You didn't know. The fire seed contains a high concentration of elemental power inside of it. It's very powerful yet fragile at the same time. It is not stable in its current form. To prevent any accidents, please don't use it again. Since I am its creator, I will take responsibility for it. I assure you there's no need to worry. Alright. Aside from being able to heal the Dendro Dragon, the Fire Seed can also resonate with the Heart of Oasis. In other words, you'll be able to find the Dendro Dragon by following the guidance of the Fire Seed. But you should hurry. There is little time to waste. What about you? Forget about me. You should hurry home now. Everyone is returning home, including you. As I told you, 
I've already lost my chance to be saved by the Lord of Dendro. Lord of Dendro, I thank you for coming to find me, and for being willing to save the Dendro Dragon. Our past has been saved, and our future has been ensured. It's enough for me, just knowing that they will return home. the lumen stone once more i can still feel its elemental power please of all of us it deserves the chance to return home the most this is a small ball of light that it left behind i can feel it I can feel its knowledge and emotions. It has all returned to its original elemental form and is becoming one with the other family members. Do not be sad, my friends. Its wish has come true and it's very happy right now. Because its external form doesn't matter, right? Yes, because our external form does not matter and our home has been saved. There is nothing more important than being together with family. Let's go! It's not much further. Follow me, we're close now. shifting around us. Sometimes it feels distant, but other times, it seems close. This is its way of warning us. It has already noticed our presence. Dendro Dragon. I knew it would be big, but not that big. Puny god, puny human, leave my domain. Frail life forms like you cannot survive in the endless sands of the desert. A pep, we're here to save you. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Boo. You are no different from Amun. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heaven's glow. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead. 
as you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't you let go of your hatred, even for only a moment? Let go. For only a moment. Foolish boor. You will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the Seven Nations. No! You're ill, that's all! That I am. Time will bring death to all. It's unavoidable. Although I am gravely ill, my mind remains clear. I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for this. There's no point in fighting. What we need is the truth. <laughs> the truth. The shackles that the God of Wisdom cannot escape from. I have paid dearly for the truth, and you shall do the same soon enough. Hey! Don't leave! Careful! Something's coming! It's our family. Huh? They're your family too? But they don't look anything like fungi. External form not important. Inner nature say. The composition of their elemental power is identical to ours. In other words, they're residents of our homeland. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? This is also a form of adaptation. Although a most gruesome and pitiful one. Many of our family members never made it out of the Dendro Dragon. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to rescue you! Given it they're all just to survive. They're being drawn by the fire seed. Only its power can temporarily free them from their pain. All that remains are the instincts to survive and search for energy needed to do so. Everything else has been discarded in the process of adaptation. So this is the result of forbidden knowledge. Would our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was allowed to rampage across to that? Like fish struggling on land, unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world. Yes, but please try to be gentle with them. They are not evil in nature. All they want to do is survive. Everyone hold hands! Illusion shattered! Water jet! One with the force! Anymore. They want to go home. Yes, it was never their intention to leave the Dendro Dragon. Is there a way to make them revert to their elemental form? Years of torment is what turned them into their current state. Their external form has become their shackles. It seems only the Fire Seed or a Pep's Heart of Oasis can save them. But it'll be risky if we use the Fire Seed again. Correct. We cannot use the Fire Seed again. Everyone goes home. Not just us. Uh, this is becoming quite the dilemma. <sighs> Let me think for a second. <sighs> it's fine. Let's use the power of the Fire Seed. I can't bear leaving them in the desert like this. Don't worry, the decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. It won't require much elemental power. 
I'm just worried that it'll become unstable. But as long as I use my elemental power to stabilize it a little, it shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. Sorry. Stubborn. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I've come to understand that during our travels. I'm not doing this just to protect you, but also because I hope to use you and your experience and try speaking to a pep again. After all, that giant Dentro dragon is also your family. Maybe it would listen. I will stand with you, Lord of Dendro. I will never forget your kindness. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Thank you. All right, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside of me. They're all very excited. To imagine such growth could be achieved in such a short period of time. It's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams. Yes, finally, we can go home. This is the last part. Let's go. What shall we do? No escape! Stabilize! Dendro Dragon lives? Yeah. Who knows what's inside that cave? Our goal is not only to find the dragon, but to also enter the world inside of it. That will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate with us. But how are we gonna do that? It doesn't seem to want to help at all. I'll see what I can do. Apep, 
I know we don't see eye to eye, and that we have a very different understanding of the world and its orders. However, we are both born of elemental power, and both suffered the torment of forbidden knowledge. We are not that different. And right now, we share a common enemy. We should not let our differences get in the way. Hmm... Wonder if the Dendro Dragon's even willing to listen. I don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you've done in the name of hatred. Nor do I expect you to be grateful. I'm here to save both you and your people. My people! They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they left their homeland. They yearn for a chance to return home. And now that everything is over, all the hatred that you harbor has lost its meaning. Rather than continuing to fight, you should consider the life you've produced. No response. Your eagerness to survive means that you haven't given up on that world yet. If you claim to know so much more than I, then why don't you truly think about why you want to survive? And why you're so vengeful? Everyone safe and send us to the homeland. only able to ensure that we made it here safely. It's possible we arrived at different locations. Hmm. Well, then let's go have a look up ahead. Paimon's feeling really worried. Yep, let's go. I wouldn't worry too much. The Traveler's no pushover. Paimon knows that. It's just that Paimon isn't used to not having the Traveler around. <sighs> Let's hurry! She might be just up ahead! What's that? That should be the heart of Oasis. All we need to do is light it with the fire seed, and it'll restore a pep with elemental power. The damage it suffered internally will also slowly begin to heal. Then let's hurry and light it! We still need to find the Traveler! Alright, hang on. Uh. Wait! The fire seed! What happened? It shattered! It was even more unstable than I expected. But... why? We barely used it! I'm not sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of protecting one person? But if I didn't use its power on everyone, there's no way of knowing where you could have been sucked into. And even if that's the case, there's no reason for it to simply shatter... unless... Unless what? Unless I was already in a weakened state when I created this fire seed. Which would be when we had first saved the desert. Oh no. Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed has shattered, wouldn't that mean we came all this way for nothing? Oh, do you know what we should do now, Nahida? Oh, come on, Paimon, think! I... Uh, <sighs> Don't worry, Paimon. This is my responsibility. The Fire Seed is technically just a ball of highly concentrated elemental power. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life forms, I gained a better understanding of it when I turned into a fungus. So, all I have to do is imitate that power, while adding some of my own. And I'll be able to do what the Fire Seed was supposed to. 
You're gonna become the fire seed? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me, but it still won't be anything compared to when I was in the desert. I might, however, become even smaller. What happens if you keep getting smaller? I'll become a blade of grass or a twig. Basically, I'll return to how I was first born. I will be able to unleash power beyond my limits if I can reverse the process of growth. But you'll lose everything. You'll not only lose your appearance, but you'll lose your emotions, memories, and who knows what else? That's all right. None of that matters compared to the dangers that a pep is facing right now. No, no, wait! There has to be another way. Besides, what will Sumeru do if you turn into a twig? Maybe you and the Traveler can plant me in the soil of Sumeru once it is all over. I can still communicate with the world through the forest. It's just that you won't be able to see me for some time. You can't be serious. If the Traveler were here, she definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to take responsibility, then we never would have agreed in the first place. I'm sorry, Paimon, but we're out of options. Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can soar in the sky once again. But if no risks are taken, then the eagle will be grounded forever. No. Please, no, Nahida! Uh, 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 huh? I know. A sacrifice must be made, huh? but not by the Lord of Dendro. <sighs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Would you lend us your power? would come to this. All the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, nothing of who you were will remain. You won't be remembered by anyone. Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dentro should also go home. Hear us, please. Feel our heartfelt desires. Awaken! This 
This is order. Gather. Illusion shattered. Everything. One with the forest. Their knowledge, memories, and emotions have been reverted to elemental power and released. They are no longer able to respond to you. The guardians that have accompanied me for countless eras have also transformed into my elemental power, just as they did. They will be born once again now that they're one. There's nothing to be sad about. Understand it, and it will never understand us. That's how it's destined to be. But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me, Apep. Samara will be free from threat as long as your health is maintained. I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes, there's no denying that. Although my hatred for that usurper from beyond the heavens still stirs deep within me, destroying you and your people serves me no purpose. Be that as it may, my position still stands, and I will have nothing to do with you. When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding curiosity, I will still sneer and mock you in my heart. Heesh! Who can put up with you? I respect your decision, and with time, I will prove to you that we will not repeat our mistakes. Before you begin resting, there is one last thing I would like to know. How did you become affected by forbidden knowledge? It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world and led us in a fight against the order established by the Outsiders. D dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world, while the losers must turn into ash. 
But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose where there was only forest, and it was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the dragons was over. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun Alakhmar. Yes. Alakhmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continued to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbored deep regrets. By the time the Dragon King finally returned, the world had irrevocably changed. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind, and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones, while others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart. Even to this day. I will follow them until the end of my time. <sighs> you really are insane. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed and absorbed his elemental power. However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the knowledge he had accumulated. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my own. So that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. I was like a final failsafe in his plan. Tiny Boor, and the rest of you, continue forward. I shall keep a watchful eye. How far will a life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go? I wonder. sent back out! Still in one piece, too! The dragon will need to rest for a very long time before it is fully healthy again. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Curing the dragon of its illness has seemingly made it more open to reason. Nobody's in a good mood when they're feeling sick. Even though we accomplished something really important, Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. Indeed. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, they've lost their memories of their journey and their feelings for their homeland. Each opportunity for growth is unique in its own way. Perhaps the immense power we released was the pouring out of all these irreplaceable emotions that had built up over time. 
can you really call a place with no family your home? Family... Right! The Hydra fungus left behind its family. Those two fungi might be waiting for it to return. Oh, yeah! Let's hurry and go take a look! Huh. How are we going to explain all the complicated things that 